Ready, I go. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut movie review time. <laughs> peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. All right, yes, yes, we're done. We're done with the peanut butters. Before we even start in this, have y'all subscribed? Follow me on my Instagrams. Geekly Amanda and, and Twitter. So I'm trying to remember to say that at the beginning of everything. But y'all, this is what we have to talk about. Because I just watched the movie Padmavat. Padmavat. Padmavati. Pad, am I saying that right? Padmavati. Y'all, I loved it and I hated it. <laughs> I loved it and I hated it. Let me tell you why. I mean, it's got a good rating up there. That's that to me was like a four out of four point four, four point five out of five. Like it was an awesome movie, but it was making me mad. I'll start off from the beginning because right, it starts off. They got the guy who's like going after the the Sultan's like daughter and brought her this ostrich. He has for feather. And he brought his ostrich and and the the guy was like, well, you bought you just brought my daughter an ostrich. When I asked for a feather, all right, you can marry her. <laughs> and she was all, he's like, you marry me? And she was all like this, like googly eyes to him. But then they find out right away, he ain't no good guy. He ain't no good guy. Mm-mm, mm-mm. You saw it in his eyes. He had the crazy, not a good guy's eyes. And then from afar in the lands, they had this other king who met this girl, Padmavate, cause she shot him with the arrow cause he was so like mesmerized by her beauty. And they fell in love. She was like healing them back to, to health. And they fell in love. And she went there and they got married. And and oh, she and she, as she was, she was like the most beautiful woman. They were like, oh, the most beautiful woman her hair. Like people were mesmerized. Like that's what he was so mesmerized by her beauty. He didn't even look out for the arrow when she was hunting, got him. And I like when she said, oh, they and their love, they're, their love towards each other, the king and her. Like she was like, I was hunting for deer and I got a lion instead. I was like, oh God, she loves her man. She loves her man. He adores her. But this is the part that gets on my nerves. Cause then they banished this one guy, like the, uh, he was kind of the, the helper of the king, right? He, they banished him because right on the wedding night, he wasn't doing right. They caught him. He wasn't doing right. So instead of just killing him or putting him in a dungeon, she suggested it, banish him. But then he went to the sultan, you know, from the far in the lands and the sultans with his ego and all this. And then he goes like whispers in his ear about Padmavat. Padmavat. He whispers in her ear about it. And now that's like that Sultan's mission because he's got this ego like nothing. And he's like, I'm going to get me some Padmont. So he went there to where they're at. And they're just living. Everybody loves the king and, and Padmavat, the queen Padmavat. And, but then he's over there demanding to see her. And the king's like, no. And they're, go, like they're outside the walls just waiting for them to come out to see her. And finally... Like he gives them like uh, orders, like if you send away the or army and you come in unarmed, we can meet. And he did that. And this is what makes me mad because you know, this ain't a good guy, this Sultan guy. You know, he ain't a good guy. He had so many chances to kill him. So many, so right there they playing chess and he's already trying to like get up on his wife the beautiful Padmot and he said something about looking at her and he got mad and took her, and they were playing chess and, shh, and right there he could have killed him he didn't he was like integrity this and that and I get it I get it but you should have killed him because that guy has no integrity even Padmot Bay said that then the, then he met him on his turf like and no guards around stuff so the king went and met him there but then of course he don't have the same integrity he like kidnapped him then Pad Padmavat had to go up in to to Dali to Delhi right to De to like save him and they had a plan to escape and they had a hundred men and, uh, it was a whole big plan and they escaped and the empress done turned against the sultan and helped him out so all this is happening. And even then, because he was already wounded because someone tried to kill him before up in his own place, the king went to see him and 
Again, he was like, I'm not gonna kill you in that wounded. We're gonna meet up on the battlefield. I was like, oh, look, he's doing it again. That's one of the part that makes me mad about this movie. Why I loved it and I hated it. I hate it because I wanted him to kill him so many times. I was like, don't do this. Fool me once, king. Fool me once, Sultan. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. He could have killed him then. Didn't, his integrity. So they went up in the, back in the castle. He was like getting better. Of course, he's going to bring even more army this time to face him. Then they go out there and face him up on the battlefields. And here comes the king and the sultan and they start battling while the king starts winning. What happens? But his men get the arrows, shoots shoots the king. Again, no check. So or the king done, he... He could have killed him, but now he's dead because he's facing somebody without integrity with, and he has integrity. I was just like, oh, that was making me so mad. I get it. Stan, the history books and the, and the, he kept saying the hit in history and integrity and history and this day what they remember us by and all that. I get it, but you could have killed him. <sighs> Maybe that's why I'm not the empress or the kings and all. Because I would have killed him. <laughs> I would have killed him. I would have done something. <sighs> mm -mm. I would have did him right the first time he talked about my wife and wanting to see her. <sharp inhale> right then. But now he's dead. But this is the thing. And this is one of the parts I love, love, love about the movie. Because when the first time when they escaped from Delhi from the evil sultan and the men that sacrificed herself. Padma Bey came home and she sees the mother of one of the men that sacrificed herself and she's consoling her and the mom, you could tell, and this is what Padma Bey said. She's like, I understand why the men here are so strong because of their strong mothers. And I was like, oh! And right then, at the end of the movie, you see the same thing because, I mean, they were, these men, they were outnumbered, outnumbered, out tricked, no integrity, fight with no integrity. They're getting taken over and they storm the, the, the place. They storm their castle and the walls and stuff. And all the women goes and says, y'all can't have us. Cause the whole thing was about right. We're going to take them and take Pat. He was there. He's doing that to to because all was for one woman, and she goes and sacrifices herself in the fires, and all the women follow him. Like you can't have, you're gonna kill our men and all this, and try to take us. No, you ain't have us, and they burn themselves. Y'all, right there, I was just like, oh. they said they said no, you can't have us. You you you. Even though you you killed our men and all this stuff, we're burning ourselves. And Padma Bay, Padma, you know I can't say her name right, was the first one in the fires. I was like, oh, that's my girl. Oh, look at my girl. I mean, it was powerful. It was powerful. Powerful moment. So I was like, now I see. Now I see. Well, when I was hating the movie, he should have had all these because they... They are. That's like because it's true. We're we're not talking about the the people who shoot each other's in the backs up in history. We're talking about the strongest of people up in history now, years late. That the women that would go and burn themselves for the men who sacrificed their lives, and and they're like the enemy's not getting us. That's the ones who we remember in history, and they write along with the story that was beautiful. The music, I already done that Gumar song, Gomar. I already had reacted to that. That was one of my first song reactions. That's up on there. So I already know the music was beautiful. And then this, oh, the costumes. Padma, Padma, Vat. <laughs> I can never say her name right. But the, the, her jewels. I looked over my husband and I was like, I want to get me a nose piercing. She had her nose jewel in the whole time. I was like, I need me one of those. Just everything she's wearing. <sighs> Y'all, should I get a nose piercing? I wanna, 
That's how much I love this movie. I told you, 4.5 out of 5, and only because they was making me mad. <laughs> when he should have killed him those times. But I get it. But still, I got to take the half a point off for that. Love the movie. Be everything around the the visuals, the, the costumes, the songs, the story. Loved it. 4.5 out of 5. Done for me. Till next time, y'all.